Okay, welcome to my favorite park in Savannah. This is at the beginning of Forsyth Park. See the moss on the trees? I'll try to go a little slower. The moss. Beautiful. Now as I'm walking, don't criticize my video because it's not so much perfect, alright? I'm not a photographer. Okay. I'm just taking a walking tour. We're going to go down the way and show you some of the statues. Here's one. William L. Grayson. We'll get to the front so you can see it. You see the raw iron, beautiful raw iron there. There's a cute little doggy. <laughs> okay. This is a statue, actually. If you read the plaque, it said to those Georgians who volunteered and served their country in the Spanish American War. As you can see, the Roth iron, original Roth iron, made here at the steel mill. And if you look down, we're going to look up and see the beautiful moss trees. Okay, as we walk around, we're going down the main walk. As you see, basketball court, tennis court, families, everybody enjoying the park. It's a beautiful day. Beautiful. More moss in the trees. Something you don't have there because it's too cold. Eat your heart out. <laughs> okay, this is what you call a park. Not those little skimpy things that you see with the exception of um, the conservatory park. But this is what you call a real park, okay? Now we're walking down from one end, we're coming from Brunet Street. As I say, they actually have where people want to do, play frisbee or anything like that. There's also baseball diamond or sometimes they play soccer, as you can see. People are enjoying themselves. Have one on each side and play ball. It's a very beautiful place. Very beautiful. Still have the the lights. I'll give you a good a good look at that. The gas lights all the way down in the park. It's beautiful at night too, but I'm not gonna be out here at night. Beautiful park. Like I said, Franklin Park Conservatory is the only thing that can even compare. I don't see my squirrels though. You usually see my squirrels. I forgot to get some pecan uh, peanuts for pigeons, but oh, they've added security cameras. <laughs> Smile. Okay. You see the large baseball diamond on each side. We're walking towards some monument. I can't remember what it is, but like I say, this is a park, and it's a very long park. You see benches on each side. We could just rest because that's what you choose to do. But as we walk, again, I'll show you the trees, and do not criticize the steadiness of this because I'm walking. We're going to go down the River Street later, but we're going to start here, and this is Forsyth Park. Forsyth Park. Is that right? Got it? Okay. Again, beautiful moss, live oak trees, live oak. Don't see it there, do you? Nope. And the temperature here, I believe, is 84. 
and the temperature where you are is 47 that's a big difference 40 degrees difference between where you are and where I am ha 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 <laughs> okay so as we take this this tour again see that's the whole that's still the same the whole field there <laughs> you want to wave to the people in England wave to the people in England <laughs> there you go <laughs> thank you okay here we go got some natives some gold like I said it's huge out here okay and yep you can just lay out and enjoy yourself that's how beautiful it is oh there are squirrels see them running <laughs> I don't have any peanuts sorry yeah I forgot to get peanuts I knew it was something I was forgetting peanuts for the squirrels there's some more and see the field on both sides see how large it is like I said this is a real park not your pretend parks like you have there not a bunch of concrete <laughs> okay now you can see that live oak see how they grow that's a huge tree it's probably been here for well I know it's been here for <laughs> at least 48 years I'm pretty sure it's older than that though and again as I say it's gonna get a little wobbly because I'm trying to show you everything and this is not a steady can okay see the little pop pops yep all right we're coming up on the monument here in the center the first center of the first half of the park but we're going to be going to the waterfall which is really what I want you to see because it's beautiful I hope it's still there I know you saw it in um, the painting that I have in my living room so now this monument here we're looking at the from the back we're gonna go around and look at it from the front here and it's just around all the way around here so let's take a tour around to the other side oh you probably want to see what it says on the plaque don't you francis s barto colonel eighth Re regiment i think yeah georgia volunteers confederate states army born in savannah georgia on september 6 1816 fell at Manassas on July 21st 1861 okay again this is the back of it and we're going to go on the cool side to see the front of it this is a beautiful beautiful park I like to see all the way around and you can see what's going on here That over there is a play area for kids, a secondary play area. And again, I'm showing you from the side so you can see as I walk around. There he is up there, Whee, way up there. Okay, and how they have it mounded out. Okay, now I can't read this plaque too well, but probably be able to read it. after this video is published so we're going to go all the way around and you'll be able to see what's going on here Ooh, I can't see anything too much sun 
Okay. Alright, this one is McLaws. You see the children's play area. Sun's in that line. That's right across. Now we are through the first half of the park. Okay, now this one is of Lafayette. Let me see here. It says, so you can get a good look at it. It says Lafayette Law McLaws, Major General Confederate States Army, born Augusta, Georgia, January 15, 1821, died Savannah, Georgia, July 24, 1897. We're going to take one more look at the top, come back down, beautiful grassy area, again Roth Iron, real Roth Iron, it's been here for ages, probably since the park's been here, it's very sturdy, so you don't have to worry about, it. now that's the second um, playground area there, the little white buildings that you see, they usually have uh, arts and crafts. We're not going in there, then. we're going to stick with this. <laughs> and of course, the things that you do not see. All right, there's a magnolia. I'll show you the magnolia in a moment. We have people who are walking by. All right, there, live oaks and the magnolia tree. And of course, I'm not here during the time where those big beautiful magnolia flowers come off pedestrian zone what that means is you can't ride your motor up your um cycles or anything over here skateboards you can only walk through which is a good thing see it protects the children and people okay we're back to where we picked up walking through I just had to change and make sure that it was changed back the way it needed to be. Okay, here we go. We're walking toward the waterfall now. This is the one I have the painting of. You see how beautiful that is on each side? We haven't even made it to the center yet. This area right here. Live oak trees. I really want you to see the palm trees on Victory Drive and you have to find how much the bus is to get there. <clears throat> now there are other areas, but we're not going to go down through the paths and anything unless I decide to sit down. <laughs> so, as you can see, we're coming to the fork. Big pretty, you see the car? Big pretty dog. Okay. It's kind of busy, which is probably isn't, but I guess as soon as summer comes, summer officially comes. A lot of people come here, as you can see, for um, visiting. And I know that the majority of these people who are do not live here actually. Okay, got more live oaks, another magnolia, but straight ahead is what we're headed to, which is the fountain. Now that fountain has been here so long, I don't even remember how long it's been here, but it has been here at least 48 years. <laughs> it has always been operational, except for when they're cleaning it now. That again is another magnolia. Magnolia trees grow large here. And, <laughs> and it's against the law. Oh, palm tree. See the palms. Palm trees. Yep. Yeah. On Victory Drive, you find a lot of them. So, which way are you people going? You can see. 
all through the other sections. The houses that you see are on the other side of the park. That's just to give you an idea of how huge it is. You see there's the free trolley on that side. That takes you through the historic district. So if you were to ever come to visit, you can ride free. And I don't know. I like the little puppies, but I can't play with the puppies. I'm even supposed to be doing this video for you. Okay. We're approaching the fountain. I think there's something around, but I want you to I want to make sure that you see it. So we're gonna walk all the way around it so you can see the fountain. It's very beautiful. And they have the little um <laughs> the little um mariners there blowing the water out. So as we approach the fountain. Oh, see we have an, an artist here. Yeah. We'll do a quick walk around. You see the top of her. You see how they have the goose. They haven't changed it at all. This is just like the I have the painting I have. Oh, you want to see the, the raw iron work. Then it beneath. Still the same. They haven't changed it. Beautiful. The flowers. And if you see people who have made donations to the upkeep, their names are on the bricks here. You see the daisies beautiful here the water and you could throw coins in it if you want to not guarantee your wish is going to come true <laughs> okay you see the satyrs the water is for the level of water that's in it Look at our lady here. You see her. Okay. Now we're not going to go all the way around. And again, like I say, it's not a professional video, but you get to see a little bit of the park, and you get to see a little bit of River Street. Okay. Now. We're walking toward the end. This one, like I say, the statue was in the center. This is the second half of the park. As you can see, as we go to the end here, it is definitely a place that you'd want to be. Now we're gonna back up. I'm just showing behind. Okay. Now I actually <clears throat> I'm going to find a place to take a little break. Oh, I should walk around the park and show the historic. <laughs> Maybe. There's the trolley again, straight ahead. It's free to ride. Live oaks all through the park. Yep, yeah, as you see, the moss growing, Spanish moss. Been here forever. One of the marks of Savannah itself is that Spanish moss. You will always see it on just about every tree, unless they're brand new. Otherwise, you will always see that moss all over so there's a huge cluster of it there all over as we come to the end and i'll show you what it says on that plaque on the end 
Uh, I know you'll recognize that symbol on it. And then we're going to sit over there. Now, I know you see another park ahead, but before we go to that one, I'm actually going to sit down for a moment. And <laughs> be rude if you want to. Okay, now we're going to check out the back. Okay, now I'll read them to you. I think the shadow might be too much and you can't see it. In memory of the United States Marines from Chatham County, Georgia, who made the supreme sacrifice in World War II. Then they have a list of names. Simple Fidelis. To our Sergeant John L. Pearson from Beirut, Lebanon, October 23rd, 1983. And first to fight, Wake Islands, Pearl Harbor, Bataan, Tulagi, Guadalcanal, Midway, Maitkin, Bougainville, Tarawa, Cape Gloucester. You know that name, don't you? <laughs> the Marshals, Saipan, Tinian, Guam, Peleliu, Iwo Jima, Philippines, Okinawa, Europe, Africa, Asia, on land and sea and in the air. The name. Alright, so like I say, I'm going to take a break and then. So we're going to pause. And then we'll finish. Okay, we're back on our tour. We're on the Whitaker Street side. I'm going to show you the historic buildings. So, like from here, you can see the center where I was walking down at first. And you can see the statue that I filmed earlier, or at least the base of it. Now, we're going to take a tour of the historic buildings on this side and there are a lot we're going to start with this <laughs> check out that boss <laughs> oh i missed it okay we actually have art on the boss how about that how cool is that okay now this is one beautiful beautiful you can see the design i'm not sure if it's considered a hotel or not it's on west warburg beautiful design see how historic a lot of the things they kept okay we have someone coming so we're not going to take a picture all right there we go ah, sorry about that here we go gorgeous I'm going to take it up so you can see the windows. You can see plant pots. You can see how beautiful that building is. Okay, next. Let me show you the next historic pavilion. Okay, if I turn over to the park side, that's because people are passing by and I don't want to have them in a, They don't want to be seen. Okay, now here's the next one. Okay, we have a lady coming. We're going to look at the trees a moment and I'll come back down. There we go. Like I said, this park is very busy. We went to the summer. Okay, we're going to switch over. Okay. We finished looking at that one. See how these nice fancy houses they go all the way around. Okay. And I'm going to show you that one again. We're going to turn all the way around here. 
and then we'll go back. Okay, here we go. I don't know if you can see that for the sun or not. Let's see how the verandas, how they wrap around. Beautiful. Of course, this one here, the round brick one, red brick one, is a little more modern, but it's still kept in a lot of the. That actually looks like the house in the garden of good and evil. <laughs> okay, let's see. Take it up, back over. You see, the reason I do that when people are passing by, I don't want to have their face in there. I'm pretty sure they don't want to be broadcast all over. Ooh! 901 looks like it's empty. I know he's been here for about two. That sun getting away. Let's do it. This is not a professional video, so I'm going to go back for a minute. So, then I'll show you another There's a little game going on over there. I don't want to see that. Game. And we could get back to the houses. Okay. And the next house we're coming up in. Again, huge, gorgeous. A lot of these have been turned into apartments. As soon as I get out the sun, we'll get a better look at it. Reminds you home, doesn't it? <laughs> Beautiful the architecture, the sort of detail, the wrought iron that they have here, the handmade, hand twisted wrought iron. Just about every house. I gotta show you some sidewalk here. I can't get on the street side where the houses are because then you wouldn't be able to see them at all. Can you believe that it used to belong to one person? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Big tree. <laughs> okay, we're coming to some that are a little more modern. I want to show you the famous Drayton Towers. We're going to pause here a moment. These are the historic Drayton Towers. Now, I don't know if it's still the Drayton Towers, but it used to be Drayton Towers. And over here you see where they do some restoration on some building. But they bring it back to make it look like it normally does. And again, you have those beautiful live oak trees. Before. And you can see that this is Gwinnett and Whitaker. <laughs> this is where Casanova B. Jones used to live. He was at um, Big Tree. He used to be a DJ here. Again, like I said, on the other side of the park. 
the way that the streets are. So again, because people are coming by, you have to excuse my tracking from one side to the other, trying not to invade their privacy. historical places I'm going to have to clip these together we're actually going to get on the dock bus and take a trip around and I'll try to get more pick up more of the historical area for you it might be easier going about it this way. Oops, I got something to do on the east side like that. <laughs> and there it is. Exactly. I used to have a friend who lived on the top floor, her and her husband. Beautiful up there, I tell you, they have that whole floor. Then here's another. Okay, more historical work. If you don't see any iron, you see how the pistol. They were also hand carved and except for whatever had to be replaced, of course they probably it was probably machine. But these houses have been here for ages. I definitely want to show you the house on the corner. Before we hop on the dark bus. Because this one is also beautiful. Don't know if you can hear me or not. But you can see how it comes around the veranda. You see how the, the peak dome tops here. Beautiful. Chimney goes all the way up there. Savannah keeps its history going. Right. Look at some grass and some feet for a minute. This is the other side of the park. I might show you the white buildings. That's the fragrant garden. When everything is out in bloom in there, it smells so good. So good. And if you're a movie buff, I'm going to show you a house that you see in a lot of movies. Unfortunately, someone is sitting on the porch. I can get to see it. And this house is in a lot of movies. Beautiful. Airy. Okay. You can see down that where we were with the kids. Again, the other side of the park on Wichita. So if you want to see the most historic buildings, they are on the Wichita Street side of the park. There are a, little, a few on the other on the great side, but most of them are on the Wichita side. We're about to get to another house. I'll show it to you here in a moment. I know you don't have much more. Okay. Again, we're going for. Okay. 
Yeah, you can see the fountains in here. I'm going to say, when it comes to pedestrians, the remedy is not so hot. I don't know what they have on top of their house. Oh, okay, they have cones of some type here. Well, I'm just going to take you to the end because I need to cross over. This is me trying to cross the street and no crossing zone. Don't do it. Oh, marshmallows. To get huge here. These are the azalea bushes. Unfortunately, they're not in bloom, but when they are in bloom, they are very beautiful. And here comes another cutie. May I? May I take a photo of your cutie? All right, there's another little cutie. Isn't she cute? It's a boy or girl? It's a boy. A boy. Isn't he cute? Smile for the camera. <laughs> There you go. Bless your heart. May I? Yes, sir. He's a little skittish around. Though. Here you go. Remember to sniff me first. You're beautiful. <laughs> I love those feet. Check those feet out, people. Yeah, call them gremlin feet. Gremlin? Oh my gosh. Gorgeous. Thank you. Okay. You now I have to take the pictures of the pot piece. Alright, we're going to cross over and catch the tour bus here and then as you can see all the dogs are out enjoying and then we'll get you one more there are two little babies get you one more house then we cross the street okay, maybe two more that one and then I wanted to cross, cross over and we'll take the bus tour okay here we go gorgeous isn't it beautiful and I'm gonna do a u-turn so I don't get people who don't want to be on film To avoid all pedestrians. Almost slipped up my hand there. You can't hide that. You know I have to sneak the little poodle in me. Okay, here we go. I have to get a little closer. Certain out of the walkway. I need to get a better look. I would love to look right there. You know, they are. There's a little cute. Please enter the bus from the front door and exit through the rear door. Okay, we're on the bus now. Um, Okay. 
get to the other part, I turn you back on. So it takes all the time. I'm sorry, Johnson Square. Johnson Square Park here. It's just a little, about every three blocks, there's a little park. That's one of the most interesting things about Savannah. And as I said, you will always find the live oak trees loaded with moss. Spanish moss is prevalent, like I say. And again, the azaleas are in bloom. Sorry about that. But let's read a little bit about Johnson Square, which also has a little fountain here. Governor Robert Johnson of South Carolina, who befriended the colonists when Georgia was first settled. It was laid out by Oglethorpe and by Colonel William Bull in 1733 and was the first of Savannah Squares in early colonial days. The public stores and house were strangers to church and public bake ovens stood in the trust lot surrounded. Events of historical interest are associated with Johnson Square. Now I'm sure you can read, if you open this up, you can actually see what the rest of it is. It's pretty long. But it tells you a lot about the history here. And that's one of the things that I love about Savannah. It's so historical and pedestrian friendly. Now here's another little, oh, I love those plants. I don't know what they are, but they're gorgeous. Oh, some of the areas that bloom. There you go. But they look better when they're all bloomed up and that's all you see. All right. This one is for Nathaniel Green, Major General, born in Rhode Island, died in Georgia, 1786, a soldier patriot and was friend of Washington. His shaft has been bared by the people of Savannah. All right, there you go, and that's another tall monument there. And like I say, Johnson Square really isn't that large, but still, it's a beautiful place if you're on a walking tour and you want to come through here. I love the parks. All right, put me on pause again. Thought you might want to see. Hey! Horse drawn buggy. I don't know if you can see them that clear because I'm a good distance away. I'm going to zoom in. There we go. Aren't they gorgeous? Okay, cars blocking them now. I'm putting you back to this one. This one is, oop, take it back down. Washington's Southern Tour. During his Southern Tour of 1791, President George Washington attended services at the original Trice Church on Sunday, May 15th, while in Savannah. And I know they still have the churches around here, but I can't remember where it is. It's probably on other side of Drayton but I tell you the next time we come through we're definitely going to check it out all right I have one more monument I want to show you we're gonna walk through here see on this is the fountain on the other side of the park and I see a lot of churches have been turned into banks there Oh, uh, get the money lenders out. All right. Christ Church. Okay, here it is right here. This is the church that George Washington went to in hot service. You might not be a history buff, but I am. I love history, old buildings, architecture. I love it. The columns, the way the buildings are made, 
all of this is just gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to pose a minute, pause a minute to make sure that audio is on. The white horses, they'll be here in a moment, pausing till they get here. And there they are. They do have the right of way here, people. Let me just get a little closer. There they are. Aren't they gorgeous? And then there's the wagon. There's another horse drawn, horse drawn carriage. Isn't it cute? Oh. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> For all my friends who love to shop, here we go. And I'll show you Savannah Cox. I might get a souvenir, I'm not sure. There's something that says Savannah. So if you're looking for unique, they definitely have it here. I'll tell you what the name of the store is in a moment. I can't see it right now. But I have not seen these anywhere. That's a nice purse. And remember the docks are here. So most of the stuff that actually comes in, comes in here. And I still don't see the name of the store. Oh, Savannah Styles. So... Now you know where to come when you come visit if you're looking for something odd. Savannah Styles is it. Alright. Pausing. Okay, so we're going to start. This is right square. Again, like I said, every three or four blocks there's another square apart. And they all lead up to Forsyth Park, which is the main one. So we're going to see what right square has to say. Again, another historical building there. We'll take a closer look at it. This is right. I always have to get my little doggies. And I don't know which one this is here. Another historical building. All right, Paul. Another monument. As I said, each one in the center, they have the wrought iron. This one doesn't have any azaleas in blue. So we're going to look up. Another tall one. I wish you could actually see what's up there. This is going to have to do until you visit yourself, all right? And... There you go. Beautiful. There you go. And that's where we came from. And I'm pretty sure you see the gold on. I'm going to open this up. We're not going down there today. We're going to have to do that another time. Alright. Close your back down. And bring it back around. For right square. And we'll find out what this plaque says in a moment. Of course. Alright. So, oh, there's another pretty doggy. Okay, Tamachiti's Grey. That's what this one is. And you can actually see what's in the middle there. Let me do a close up for you. And you can see what's going on in the middle. Oops, sorry about that. Okay. Now, this is Tomachichi's grave. And you know who Tomachichi is. 
if you went to school. The Amapol Indians were here, as well as the Cherokees. Alright. And that should be enough. All you have to do is just open it up and you'll be able to read what it says. I'm not going to read it. It's long. Alright, pausing. Strong carriage. You missed the ones that had the white horses. But that one has a cute little brown and black one. Chocolate. They're cute. Horse-drawn carriage rides are famous here. The Maiko, the Yamakors, companion of Oglethorpe and friends and ally of the colon colony of Georgia. This stone has been here placed by the Georgia Society of the Colonial Dames of America, 1739 to 1899. And that's bronze, bronze, you can see it's aged, and it's a huge rock. <laughs> okay, can you see it? All right, and you can see the spire of a church there. We're going to go by there, so you can see that one. Pausing. The birthplace of Juliet Lowe. I'm going to show you that first. <laughs> okay, here we go. Juliette Lowe, for anyone who knows, she is the founder of the Girl Scouts. And I'm backing up so you can read her plaque here. This is her birthplace. And I'm going to back up so you can see more of it, the whole thing across the street. But I wanted to get a close up on the Gordon. Usually in Savannah, behind these huge houses, or even not you will find the gardens in the backyards. They are gorgeous. And everything was used. As you see, you might be able to see in the background, the doors were well, even in the garden there were entrances to little apartments. And I think that's a bronze statue supposed to be Juliet Lowe there. Let me see if we can get a better look at it. There we go. Alright, I'm going to go across the street after I show you the door to her home. We're going to go across the street so I can get the whole house in there. if you ever want to take a look on the inside, those are the hours that they do the tours here in Savannah. Okay, pausing till I cross the street. Actually here in Savannah, they have a commemorative for just about everyone. Um, this is for a memory of the Scottish forebears. Okay, we'll get a better the whole picture of it there. Now we're going to take a look at Miss Lowe's house. Oh, there we go. Now we can get a better look at it. That's the birthplace of Miss Juliet Lowe. Like I said, Savannah is. I smell barbecue. Sorry. <laughs> Historic buildings, huge buildings, whatever you want to see. I'm not going down there, but that's a pretty nice one there, too. Okay. Pausing. You'll find Miss Juliet Lowe's house on the corner of Wall Street and Oglethorpe. So that's Oglethorpe and Bull. Now we're going to get a picture of the church that I showed you the spire of earlier. 
if I could get it, but I don't think I could get it with this tree. Whee! Up to the top. All the way down. From side to side. And you can see it's huge. And this is just the front of it. It goes back. Okay. So you can see how that is. So awesome. Alright, pausing as we go to the other part. Uh oh, there's another cutie. Hello. <laughs> Hello, cutie. <laughs> you know I'm going to take a picture of the dogs. I have to have it. The little fur babies. Alright, we see what time it is. Seven. I should be getting it. There's just so much more to see. Pausing. We're going to clear the trees here soon. <laughs> I hope. Ooh, someone is barbecuing. <laughs> Let me tell you. Southern barbecue. There's no scent like it. There we go. The Savannah Theatre. 200 years. Two hundred years. All they do is give it a facelift. But this is where people used to come to get to the movies. And pausing as we cross the street to go to the park. I guess. I don't know. I really just like to give a view of the actual things that I want to show you versus a roundabout. All right, pausing. Here we go. Chippewa Square. 1815 right and the statue like I say all of the pop the little squares here have a centerpiece that's one of the things about it now this one I can't actually read because it's kind of faded out. I know you won't be able to see it. Let's see. Erected by the state of Georgia, the city of Savannah, and the patriotic societies of the state to the memory of the great soldier, eminent statesman, and famous philanthropist, General James Edward Oglethorpe. Oh, okay who in this city on the 12th day of February, A.D. 1733, founded and established the colony of Georgia. Even though the Yamacraws and Cherokees were here first, all right, don't forget that. <laughs> okay, Native Americans were here before he got here. We won't worry about that, all right, all right. No, I'm not cutting that out either. It's the truth. Okay, now we're going to go to River Street. So you're going to be on pause for a little bit. All right. There we go. Now I'll get a close-up on it because if I get close to it, you won't be able to get all of it in. But there you go. That is 14 karat gold on there. If you had that much gold, you could buy a house or two <laughs> there you go and that is on oh I forgot the name of the street Bay Street alrighty give me a moment and I'll tell you the name of the building because I forgot I think it's the Capitol building but I'm not sure hold on pause it yep that's what it is City Hall like I said and get a better look at the gold on top. On the top. 14 karat gold top. Alright. I'm holding you up here because we have pedestrians in the way. Alright. Mineral Horizon. City Hall. And. Okay, that's the Hyatt Regency. We're going to take the shortcut down to River Street. So that we don't have to go through all of the stuff that's going on. Um, so I'm going to pause you and 
it start again on River Street because it starts at this end. All right, pausing. Okay, this is the back part of River Street. Not so much. We're going down there. This is not so much. Um, the best part. Okay. You can see that grading where it comes from the top street and then goes down into River Street. You're gonna love this. We're gonna get all that. All right. We're about to descend to River Street, one of the most popular areas in Savannah. Gorgeous. Ooh, we have a ship. They have a special sh <laughs> cargo container ship coming through on the Savannah River. Yes, Savannah River. This is underneath the Hyatt Regency in the other part of River Street. Okay, we're going to cross over here and get a look at this ship here. have a live performer. You see that scene right there. Not even halfway through. Get closer. Okay. That's the Talmadge Bridge in the background. And the moon See on me like you see Oh, I won't be afraid No, I won't be afraid Cause the world She said Stand by me First time I've taken a selfie bait for that song. Old as well, but that's an awesome, that's an awesome selfie. Really good quote. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Boat trips here. Okay, maybe we need to go down a little bit. There we go. Alright, that gives you better view, I believe. And you see the cobblestone and the railroad track that used to go straight down the middle here. Cobblestone, still here. I do remember it used to be red though. It's not red anymore. <laughs> it's grey now. I think they, over the years, they've definitely lightened up now. I'm going to check oh, ew, River Street Suites, that's definitely a place you want to be. Say hello. <laughs> sure. And you know me and Peacock, so this is where we're going. Going in. Alright, pause. Come back if you want. 
homemade stuff, this is the place to come. Old fashioned salt water taffy, actually made here from real salt water. Yes, very good. And we're going to get some nuts too. See the popcorn, fresh popcorn. Everything here is made by hand. And we're going to try the go next door to the candy store. Ooh, there's the riverboat. Almost missed it. The Georgia Queen. The captain who originally owned it, he actually passed away not too long ago. We'll take a look at him. Alright, now we're gonna pause for some pecans. World famous poem. If you're going to order from anywhere, you want to order from here, definitely. See how they make it? Doesn't that make you hungry? <laughs> Fresh. I tell you, everything here is done by hand. Oh, please. <laughs> Thank you. See my praline sample? Aren't you jealous? <laughs> We're not talking about pre-manufactured stuff. We're talking about homemade candies. Sorry. Homemade candies and gifts that they actually make by hand right here in the store every day. Not that cookie cutter stuff that you get. Everything is fresh and beautiful. So I know you want some of my pecans when I get back home, but you're not getting any. Pausing. River Street Sweets. Glazed pecans. It's definitely the place you want to go. Bring it here. Cinnamon pecans. Nothing like you would buy in a school. Fresh taste, fresh made, packaged here. And I'm going to buy a bag. Pausing. Okay, River Street Sweets. And they do ship. And shipping is free. So when you get ready to purchase, you know where to go. Alright, we're heading back out to River Street. And we're going to cross back over so we can get the name of all the stores. River Street, where you can actually drink beer outside. <laughs> I'm with you, girl. <laughs> okay. All the beautiful shops. Amazing. Okay, we have a hard time seeing the names here. There we go. You know what we're going to do. Nice shot. Pausing. See his fur, baby. The only thing that they did to them was clean out the outside, outside of their um, and they may have renovated some inside, 
but I doubt it. Now, if it gets to a point where you can't hear me, that's because I'm trying to give you more pitch than voice. But as I narrate it when we go through for posting, then you'll be able to see. Masonic, you see the Masonic symbol? Mason! Grand Lodge number one. Yep. There you go. And Wet Willies. I think that's a bar. Okay, we have True Grits. Ooh, look at the fair babies. We have lots of fair babies. Always fair babies. Okay. And yes, people live up there. Hello. And True Grits. Now, I don't know what that is. Uh -oh. We have another ship leaving. The sound of another ship leaving. That used to be um, that, the name of it. that used to be a different type. That used to be factory buildings up there. Now they're apartments. This is the place where everything used to come in. All of that across the river there is brand new. It wasn't here 20 years ago. River Street has been upgraded to. You can still see. Like I said, some buildings have been cleaned up, some have not. Clothing stores, clothing clothing stores. Handmade jewelry. Yeah. This makes it as you wait. Factors walk. Yeah, that's what they used to call it. Okay, pausing. Mad Hatter. Now that's a funny place. But any type of hat that you would need. Like I said again, keep in mind, right, Bernie's Oyster House. So for those of you who like oysters or fresh food, Bernie's Oyster House would be it for Bernie's. And then the next place that we're going to go is it used to be Malone's. It's not there anymore. Cotton Exchange. Let's say whatever else that we have. Um, another bowl that we have over on that. And then we have more. See now, that's another place we come down from the top. As we show what's going on. We have someone who makes roses here. Handmade class. Pretty good. Live crystals. Cotton exchange. Seafood grill and tavern. Where a lot of you would definitely be. River Street. This is the place to come. And what I would recommend, actually, is to Uber where you want to go, 
or catch the bus. It's so much better than trying to drive. I mean, you could get a rental car and drive, but if you fly here, it's just as easy to ride the free, free buses if you stay at a hotel that's close to downtown. But a lot of places you can actually walk to on your own. <laughs> Finally caught up to us. Here's the other ship going out. Seaport, like I said, right here in the Savannah River. This is where everything comes in and gets distributed from, mostly. Of course, there's some other places like Virginia, but the majority of things that get shipped in, they come in right here, and they might they go out by ship to other place, other places. But a lot of things come in right here. Fabulous find. Haven't been in there, and since everything in there is under $25, I'm not going in. <laughs> okay, and we have, can ooh, here we go. Here's the Spanish influence. Original bricks. See the Spanish? I just want you to get a good look at the design. I wish I could get that clear. Okay. On those banisters there. Okay, we're gonna bring it back now. Alright. Actually getting ready to go. Savannah's kind of kitchen, I'm pretty sure that they have. Okay. So the rest of the rest of the um ship. I know you don't want to hear that noise. I know I don't. Okay. Look at that. And as long as it's not falling and it's a good structure, been here for a hundred years, it won't be taken down. Okay. There's the Boar's Head restaurant. That oh, candy kitchen is huge. You're not done. There's another fur baby. Another fur baby. Smile. <laughs> Let's see. Got a shell shop. We have another entertainer. Charlie's good. Ghosts and face stains. Shrimp factory. Yay! They have good seafood, but I'm telling you that they are expensive. You see, Bob's, your uncle, friends, your aunt, and Bob's your uncle. Definitely. Okay, don't forget it. Insurance factory, but since we have some of it, just much to get in the picture. There we go, there's the riverboat. And here's the Dolphini. Oh, cute. Oh, 
Big. I got two more fur babies. Big baby. Big baby and little baby. Oh, you're so cute. Look at those colors. Did you see that? And here's Spanky's. Right next to the <laughs> shrimp factory. So, you definitely want to go to Spanky's. So, we're going to go on down and we're going to head back. We're not going to make it to the peanut shop because we have a bus to catch. All right. So, uh huh. It looked like they were about to put a balcony up there and just sat and finished it. But now people live up there instead of it being exchanged. Now they're used to exchange for cotton and all that good stuff. Okay, so we're signing off River Street. That's the riverboat over there. They actually take cruises on, take it to the Fosky Island and bring it back. Alright, that's all folks. Alright, there we go. I'm going to get a close-up on it because if I get close to it, you won't be able to get all of it in. But there you go. That is 14 karat gold on there. If you had that much gold, you could buy a house or two. <laughs> there you go. And that is on... Oh, I forgot the name of the street. Bay Street. Alrighty, give me a moment and I'll tell you the name of the building because I forgot. I think it's the Capitol Building, but I'm not sure. Hold on. Pause it. Yep, that's what it is. City Hall. Like I said, you get a better look at the gold on top. On the top. 14 karat gold top. Alrighty. I'm holding you up here because we have pedestrians in the way. Okay, that's the Hyatt Regency. We're going to take the shortcut down to River Street so that we don't have to go through all of the stuff that's going on. Um, so I'm going to pause you and start again on River Street because it starts at this end. All right, pausing. Okay, this is the back part of River Street. Not so much. We're going down there. This is not so much. Um, the best part. Okay. You can see that grade where it comes from the top street and then goes down into River Street. You're gonna love this. We're gonna get all that. All right, we're about to descend to River Street, one of the most popular areas in Savannah. Gorgeous. Ooh, we have a ship. They have a special sh <laughs> cargo container ship coming through on the Savannah River. Yes, Savannah River. This is underneath the Hyatt Regency in the other part of River Street. Okay, we're going to cross over here to get a look at this ship here. And we have a live performer. That scene right there. Not even half of it, really. Get closer. Okay. That's the Talmadge Bridge in the background. And the moon. See on me like you see. Oh, I won't be afraid. No, I won't be afraid. Cause you won't be afraid.
Boat trips here. Let's see, maybe we need to go down a little bit. There we go. Alright, that gives you better view, I believe. And you see the cobblestone and the railroad track that used to go straight down the middle here. Cobblestone still here. I do remember it used to be red though. It's not red anymore. <laughs> it's grey now. I think they, over the years, they've definitely lightened up now. I'm going to check all oh, in River Street Suites. That's definitely a place you want to be. Say hello. <laughs> sure. And you know me and Picasso, so this is where we're going. Going in. Alright, Paul, come back if you want. Homemade stuff. This is the place to come. Old fashioned salt water cafe. Actually made here from real salt water. Yes, very good. And we're going to get some nuts too. See the popcorn, fresh popcorn. Everything here is made by hand. And we're going to try the go next door to the candy store. Ooh, there's the riverboat. Almost missed it. The Georgia Queen. The captain who originally owned it, he actually passed away not too long ago. Take a look at him. All right, now we're going to pause for some pecans. Girl famous poem. If you're going to order from anywhere, you want to order from here, definitely. See how they make it. Doesn't that make you hungry? <laughs> Fresh. I tell you, everything here is done by hand. Oh, please. <laughs> Thank you. See my praline sample? Aren't you jealous? Sure. Thank you so much. They sip. Mmm. Go. We're not talking about pre manufactured stuff. We're talking about homemade candies. Sorry. Homemade candies and gifts that they actually make by hand right here in the store every day. Not that cookie cutter stuff that you get. Everything is fresh and beautiful.
So I know you want some of my pecans when I get back home, but you're not getting any. Pausing. River Street Sweets. Glazed pecans. It's definitely the place you want to go. When you're here, cinnamon pecans. Nothing like you buy in a school. Fresh taste, fresh made, packaged here. And I'm going to buy a bag. Pausing. Okay, River Street Sweets. And they do ship. And shipping is free. So when you get ready to purchase, you know where to go. All right, we're heading back out to River Street. And we're going to cross back over so we can get the name of all the stores. River Street, where you can actually drink beer outside. <laughs> I'm with you, girl. <laughs> okay. All the beautiful shops. Amazing. Okay, we're having a hard time seeing the names here. There we go. You know what we're going to do. Very short. Pausing. Take the tour of the street and go to. See his fur, baby. The only thing that they did to them was clean out the outside, outside of their um, and they may have renovated some inside, but I doubt it. Now, if it gets to a point where you can't hear me, that's because I'm trying to give you more picture than voice. But as I narrate it, when we go through for posting, then you'll be able to see. Uh, Masonic, you see the Masonic symbol? Mason! Grand Lodge number one. Yeah. There you go. And Wet Willies. I think that's a ball. Okay, we have True Grits. Ooh, look at the fair babies. We have lots of fair babies. Always fair babies. Okay. And yes, people live up there. Hello. Um, true grits. Now, I don't know what that is. Uh -oh. We have another ship leaving. The sound of another ship leaving. That used to be, um, for that, the name of it. that used to be a different type. That used to be factory buildings up there, now they're apartments. This is the place where everything used to come in. All of that across the river there is brand new. It wasn't here 20 years ago. River Street has been upgraded to. You can still see. Like I said, some buildings have been cleaned up 
some have not. Clothing stores, crosses, clothing stores. Handmade jewelry. Yeah. It makes it as you wait. Factors walk. Yeah, that's what they used to call it. Okay, pausing. Okay. Flat, flat to walk. Mad hat to. Now that's a funny place. But any type of hat that you would eat. Like I said, again, keep in mind, right, Bernie's Oyster House. So for those of you who like oysters or fresh food, Bernie's Oyster House would be it for Bernie's. And then the next place that we're going to go is. It used to be Malone's. It's not there anymore. Cotton Exchange. Let's say whatever else that we have. Um, another bowl that we have over on that. And then we have more. You know, that's another place we come down from the top as we show what's going on. We have someone who makes roses here. Handmade crafts. Pretty good. Live crystals. Cotton Exchange, Seafood Grill and Tavern, where a lot of you would definitely be. River Street. This is the place to come. And what I would recommend actually is to Uber where you want to go or catch the bus. It's so much better than trying to drive. I mean, you could get a rental car and drive, but if you fly here, it's just as easy to ride the free, free buses if you stay at a hotel that's close to downtown. But a lot of places you could actually walk to on your own. You actually get to see it. It finally caught up to us. Here's the other ship going out. Seaport, like I said, right here in the Savannah River. This is where everything comes in and gets distributed from, mostly. Of course, there's some other places like Virginia, but the majority of things that get shipped in, they come in right here. And they might they go out by ship to other, place, other places. But a lot of things come in right here. Fabulous find. Haven't been in there, and since everything in there is under twenty-five dollars, I'm not going in. <laughs> okay, and we have can ooh, here we go. Here's the Spanish influence. Original bricks. See the Spanish? I just want you to get a good look at the design. I wish I could get that clear. Okay. On the banisters there. Okay, we're gonna bring it back now. All right. Actually, getting ready to go. Savannah's kind of kitchen. I'm pretty sure that they have. Okay. So the rest of the rest of the um ship. I know you don't want to hear that noise. I know I don't. Okay. Look at that. Original. 
and as long as it's not falling and it's a good structure been here for hundred years it won't be taken down okay there's the boar's head restaurant that oh, candy kitchen is huge I'm not gonna, there's another fur baby another fur baby smile <laughs> let's see Van a shell shop we have another entertainer somebody to lean on it is tough Simply Savannah to the attraction, which is really done. the old town Charlie's good ghost and face things. Shrimp Factory! Yay! They have good seafood, but I'm telling you that they are expensive. You can see Bob's. Your uncle, friends, your aunt, and both your uncle. Definitely. Okay, don't forget it. And shrimp factory, but since we have someone that just wants to get in the picture. There we go, there's the river boat. And here's the dolphini. Oh, cute. Oop. I got two more fur babies. Big baby. Big baby and little baby. Oh, you're so cute. Look at those colors. Did you see that? And here's Spanky's. Right next to the <laughs> shrimp factory. So... You definitely want to go to Spanky's. <laughs> so we're going to go on down and uh, we're going to head back. We're not going to make it to the peanut shop because we have a bus to catch. All right. So. Uh-huh. Looked like they were about to put a balcony up there and just sat and finished it. But now people live up there instead of it being exchanged. Now they used to exchange the cotton and all that good stuff. Okay, so we're signing off River Street. That's the riverboat over there. You actually take cruises on, take it to the Fosky Island and bring it back. Alright, that's all, folks.